So, hi, Pam. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. I'm very good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, double thank you for joining me because it's uh, quite late for you in China. It's uh, 9 p.m., if I'm not wrong. Uh, around 9.20 now. 9.20 now. Yeah, we've been chatting a little bit. <laughs> so, Pan, I would like to introduce you. So, you mm -hmm. are Dr. Pan Feng um, from the University of Southeast University in Nanjing in China. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are a very active rally member. So, I... I <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and quite young member as well. Uh, so I read from your CV that you received uh, your PhD in uh, 2020, 2015, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yes. And then you worked in the USA for a while, for two or three years. years at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST. Yeah. So it's great. And then um, you joined the Southeast University in China in 2016. Yeah, joined Rylan actually, I think it's around 2011 because that's the first time, first year I heard about Rylan. Um, in that year, there was an international doctoral courses organized by uh, Professor Ole Jensen from DTU and Professor um, Doug Houghton from Toronto and Professor Constant Kovner from Israel. They came to Nanjing and uh, held uh, a wonderful doctoral courses. At that time, um, I was a PhD student. I was, in, I was at my second year, I think. Okay. So that's the first time I, I heard about Rylan. And uh, as a student joining the doctor courses, they gave us a one year free membership. So I think that's the first time. Ah, okay. Rylan, yeah. Okay, so your contact with Rylan started when you were still a PhD student. What did you do yeah. with that uh, uh, one year membership? Did you use it? Did you end up joining a TC or? No, I didn't. You're comfortable anything. to say no, it's quite normal. <laughs> I waste the, the free. <laughs> membership i waste that year i didn't do anything afterwards <laughs> okay and then in 20 20 uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah go please ahead. go ahead um but it gives me a, a very good impression uh, of rylan so so um after i officially started my career um i i like i like to join rylan because then one year I, after yeah. in 2018 uh, 12 you moved to the u.s and at that yes. time, uh, the um, National Institute of Standard and Technology in the USA was a mm -hmm. Rylan member. Uh, corporate oh, okay. Member. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Then um, you moved back to China. Yeah. And uh, then officially, I think that was the time in which you officially joined Rylan. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Or, or you joined Rylan back after that three year, uh, <laughs> the one three yeah. year. Okay. And um, I met you in uh, 2019 in Najin at the Rale yeah. Mangan Week in China. Yeah, and, there. yeah, I remember. Yeah, and uh, you were so much involved. I remember you moving around. So can you tell us more about your involvement with the organization of this conference, please? Uh, yeah, sure. I was a secretary of the international com uh, conference. So I was involved in many, many business stuff. Uh, like um, I, training, I trained the volunteers. Um, we, we have most, very big part of our volunteers are uh, graduate students. And also part of them from uh, Subotu, the company. Um, the second thing I did is I was in charge of the registration. Um, that takes a lot of effort. <laughs> because you need to collect all the information from, from the participants and uh, try to uh, solve all their uh, requests or problems <laughs> that happened accidentally. Um, and also I am responsible for the emails, like re re replying the emails. Um, the, another thing I was in charge of is uh, the big 
performance. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not sure whether you still remember it. We, we had a large uh, performance at the banquet night. Yes. So that, that, that was a, a big success. <laughs> it was indeed. I really enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, yeah. So you were behind that. <laughs> I, yeah, I was behind that. But I, I didn't work alone. I worked with a lot of people okay. to make it happen. Okay. And I think uh, something else, uh, you were basically in, con in contact with almost every single delegate that attended the conference. Um, yeah. So you ended up probably meeting so many people during that conference. And yeah, but I enjoyed meeting with uh, old and young friends. I made a lot of friends from that conference. Like good. you are one of them. <laughs> I, I, I have very good memories of that uh, annual week. Um, unfortunately, was the only one that I attended because then COVID uh, prevented yeah, me yeah. from traveling. But yeah. uh, very fun memories. I enjoyed very much, and and uh, your hospitality was amazing. You were you looked after uh, me and Anne and Judith very well. So it was Thank a you. wonderful congress, well organized. But then um, what happened? Now you see it. Uh, you are a member of the Educational Advisory Committee (ESC) chaired by Professor Karen Scrivener. How yeah. did you end up being there? <laughs> um, it is the chair, Professor Karen Scrivener. Uh, she invited me to join. And you were happy? And then and I say, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you happy with that? Did you take this? Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, I feel very um, honored to, to join the EAC. Um, as, a, as a young member, I think it's, uh, uh, it's very nice to, to, to work, uh, with, work with uh, elder um, Rhino members. And, and, and learn, watch what they are doing for, for Rylan and to, to make more people involved uh, and try to promote the impact of Rylan. And um, it's a, it, I think it's a very good activity. It, I particularly like the, uh, what, what they call, what, what, what they call it. Um, it's like the seminar. The um, webinar, Rock and Talk. Yeah, the webinar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I particularly like that. It's a very, it's a very successful. Yes, yes. It's very successful. It only started last year, November, and uh, yes. very big numbers. Everyone is happy. I agree. It's a great initiative, and it's all thanks to. It's all due to the hard work of the of this committee of the Educational Advisory Committee. And, yeah. Uh, can you also a um, member of the technical committee 284? 284? Um, uh, is that TCCC? CEC. Oh, <laughs> CEC yeah. 284. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was a member of it. What is all about is controlled expansion of concrete by adding NGO based expensive agents taking the combined influence of composition and size of concrete elements into consideration is the longest title of a RALAM technical committee. There is no other technical yeah, committee. For that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, because um, magnesium oxide is a, is a very uh, good expansion uh, additive. Uh, one, of the, one of the great advantage of it is, is it can be designed and controlled um, as a function of its reactivity um, and also the, um, the, the, the property of the concrete. So, uh, since, and also it needs less water than other traditional expansion additive. So we, we want to learn more about it and also um, try to connect the material properties or to the larger scale, like the structural, structural scale uh, properties. That's what we are doing in this uh, TC. And um, uh, you are a young member, you graduated, uh, you were awarded your PhD five years ago, more or less. How, how does it feel to sit in a technical committee with uh, senior rally members, more experience? Is something that uh, makes you feel shy, is something that actually you appreciate? Has, it, has this experience helped your career uh, somehow? Uh, yeah, I think um, 
I don't feel shy, but I many times I feel I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was around, I was around so many people who are very smart and they are really world leading um, expert on the expansion performance of concrete materials. Um, but I enjoy talking with them every time. We had um, we had three workshop in total, if I remember it right. One is in 2018 in Delft, and another another is in Nanjing in 2019, and the third one is online last year. And every time we had the workshop, we can always get the good ideas and good comments from from um, elder and senior members from Rydom. They are very well-known expert and I enjoy talking with them. And um, great. And, yeah, with re in, in, in terms of my, uh, their help to my career, um, I think it's a very good network. I am gradually building up. Um, every time I had some um, problems in my research, um, I know who I can contact to. Fantastic. That's a very big help. And how is going with um, the COVID situation in terms of online meeting? Are you coping well with meeting online for, this, uh, for the meetings of this technical committee? Or maybe you prefer to meet these colleagues and friends in person? Of course, everyone prefers to meet mm. each other in person, but we cannot do that. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we... we we turn into the online meeting. Um, it has a, um, disadvantages and advantages. The advantage is, it, is that we don't spend too much time on traveling and also saves a lot of time on doing the paperwork, like visa application. <laughs> I hate that part most. <laughs> yeah. but, um, but I also, I'm, I'm always looking for forward, seeing people in person and um, traveling to other countries. That's a very nice, mm, that's a very nice experience. Mm, I, I totally agree. And we all look forward to uh, the end of this pandemic that is really affecting everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All aspects of our life. Uh, Pan, I know that you are very busy and I don't want to uh, take more time, more of your time, because it's already late at night and uh, we finally managed to find some time. So you've been super kind, really. Thank you so much for your availability. And, thank you. Um, thank, you so, thank you. Thank you very much.